Hey, what's up guys? So yesterday I uploaded a video of my kind of final DPS build for my shrapnel build that I've been running. Um, had a few comments saying, you know, this isn't viable for boss DPS. You're not always going to have those buffs up. You won't have the time to put them up. Stuff like that. I agree. Uh, yeah, you are right. You know, in the middle of a big boss fight where you're trying to evade, att uh, evade attacks and stuff, you're not going to have time to keep reprocking those buffs unless, you know, you're absolutely crazy at the game. So... For this video, I'm doing, it's just going to be a quick one. All I'm going to be using is the gun. I'm not going to be using the bow, fortress warfare, grenades, lone wolf's whisper, none of that. It's just going to be raw damage from the gun using momentum up, uh, shrapnel carnage, uh, and then the, the, the gloves, the boots, all, all of that's the same as the previous videos. You know, nothing's changed except for, you know, using no buffs at all. Um, the... Uh, weapon mod I'm using will be the Shrapnel Souvenir Shrapnel. Uh, I believe the... Oh, I've forgotten the name of it already. The uh, Obliterate mod had the highest DPS at 42k. So that's going to be, you know, if you don't want to go for an entire mag with Shrapnel Souvenir and last two minutes on firing a gun, that's probably your best bet is use that one. Um, Obliterate. So that's what I'm using there. That's what got me the 42k, but I prefer... Shrapnel souvenir just because I like the consistency of you know not having to reload every three seconds. That's just my personal preference, my personal playstyle. But if you're looking for maximum DPS, Obliterate Violent looks like the go-to. Um, I'm gonna pin all of the tests I did in the pinned comments, so all of the tests with different mods, different weapon mods, that kind of thing. But yeah, this is just gonna be raw DPS with the one that I like, and yeah, let's have a look and see where it ends up. So obviously a lot lower than having all of the buffs, but it's at 32k. So not too bad, not too great, obviously. 33k there. I got it up to 35k earlier on, so I'm going to see if I can get it to there before I stop. There we go. So 35k. I'm not going to carry on firing because it just lasts forever. But yeah, so it stops around 35k. It might peak at 36k. But again, this is no lone wolves, no axe, no bullseye, no throw in the grenade, nothing like that. It's just absolute raw dps uh you could include the cradle but that's always going to be there so you know you got the 20 percent from the automatic weapon uh and yeah the tactical combo as well gives you a bonus 25 percent after switching weapons which you can get you know if you're changing your weapons and stuff in the middle of a fight but that's this is just a video where i'm going with what people have said it's just to do a raw dps and see what the damage numbers look like so thank you for that feedback thank you for watching again have a great day